by the prickling of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Yeah, it's like a pretty much old movie there back in uh, either the 70s and 80s or I was just uh, making a cult of this movie, uh, uh, major kids movie, uh, Something Wicked This Way Comes. Uh, pretty, pretty much uh, evident or uh, watching uh, come back uh, all through uh, 2020 uh, remark on one of his videos how uh, Evil has just, uh, just washed the world. Of course, uh, when I was, uh, listening to the late great, uh, Rush Limbaugh, uh, conservative, uh, rabel radio commentator in the afternoon, and uh, just before he's passing away, that, uh, that these people, or he was marketing, uh, Democrats, they're Pretty much gonna be going on the uh, scorched earth uh, scenario, and that's pretty much what uh, happened. And it's like with this, like uh, standing uh, against uh, false teaching, it's pretty much like uh, the church has always uh, had uh, false uh, teachers. In fact. Uh, Jesus Christ stood alone in uh, opposition to the hypocritical Pharisees and the shroud proud uh, Sadducees. And of course, uh, the Apostle Paul warned the elders in uh, Ephesians like a uh, wolves in uh, their mints. And John's writings often uh, confronted the heresy as well. Peter and Jude uh, faced the same difficulties. False teaching has infiltrating uh, the American church, as we know, and even like uh, is even making inroads to uh, conservative. Uh, Biblical preaching churches. And not only that, uh, they have intruded uh, some of these communities in the YouTube land. And some of these uh, leaders are posing as workers of iniquity. There's like, uh, in fact, in a nutshell, they're wolves in sheep's clothing. Of course, like, uh, the Paul's words in Romans, like, uh, chapter 16, verse 17 and 27, are us for today. And Paul urges, uh, the Romans church three times in the book to offer themselves as living sacrifices to pray for for uh, his plans to Spain and to examine themselves for uh, certain behavior and they were to examine themselves for uh, dissensions and hindrances. The vices of people are difficult to identify because they are masters of stealth and social media has become a great place for uh, these folks to camp out, unfortunately. Um, are you a unifier, or like, are you a divider, or are you a unifier? The thing is, like, another area we need to take a look at for is uh, hindrances. These type of folks set the uh, theological trap that uh, that not only uh, bait people not only uh, bait the uh, unthinking Christians and like uh, this is the kind of teaching sounds good, yet on um, its contrary, even though the contrary to the truth taught by uh, Jesus and his uh, disciples. 
Uh, we need to examine ourselves uh, to um, see where we are. We are living in extraordinary days uh, today, and the amount of fake news seems to have uh, hit uh, a warp drive uh, over the past few weeks, past months, and a few years. And we're seeing the hastening, uh, hastening of the death of uh, cultural Christianity. And like, uh, we're about to see who are the real Christian or the really real Christ followers are. And having uh, identified uh, the signs of an intruder in uh, the church, he now exposes their true nature. Such people do not uh, serve Christ because they are slaves to their own appetites. And like, uh, the payoff may be money and the power and uh, the prestige. And of course, like, uh, power corrupts uh, even money. And like, uh, and to conceal the true, uh, intentions, uh, they, uh, project an, uh, admirable image online. Of course, like, uh, Paul's letters to, uh, Timothy and Titus, like, uh, contain specific, uh, advice on how, like, uh, a pastor should deal with the uh, destructive people and false teachers. And he emphasizes uh, a uh, proactive approach to uh, protecting the church. And in cases like uh, Romans, Paul is not addressing like uh, the, the pastor's uh, or the leaders of the church, but uh, the con great uh, congregation at large. The primary responsibility of any congregation is uh, obedience to the truth of Scripture. Additionally, the con congregation is uh, to be uh, innocent in what is evil. And wisdom and uh, vigilance are all we need. That's when, like, uh, we as members can simply refuse to be divided or just basically uh, misled. Because, like, uh, like, at the time, like, the Church of Rome has always been strong in this area. Of course, like, uh, Paul's assurance is, uh, readers of that God will soon defeat Satan and his means will be uh, the feet of his uh, faithful followers. And the church has always been uh, in a battle with the enemy. So like uh, don't be surprised uh, to discover uh, Satan attacking you by using uh, a divisive person. And what matters is how we respond when it happens. And here are four questions like, uh, you need to be ready to ask. Does what I am saying agree with Scripture? Does uh, what I am hearing honor the, my Lord and Savior? Does what I am hearing uh, help me look more like Jesus. But like uh, there's like unfortunately uh, there's those like uh, like the cherry pick uh, certain verses there just to make themselves like look credible. And like uh, next to Zick like, does what am I hearing cause me to think more highly of other believers. And the, the three words of protection from like uh, false teaching is basically uh, number one, obverse, obverse 
obvious, like a uh, observe, like a uh, just observe, observation, like a sheep shepherd who constantly scans the flock for uh, predators. <clears throat> Uh, we must, like, uh, remain alert, uh, watching for, uh, schisms, looking for, uh, deceivers, and listening for error. And there's, like, uh, quite of these, uh, error, like, uh, and a lot of these, uh, YouTube personalities. With the rise of social media, the plethora of, uh, Information is uh, barraging us daily, and we must be be careful, like uh, we are ingesting, or who are we following. So beware who you are following. Another one's like number two, uh, confrontation. Confrontation has become an unpleasant term, like uh, in our world today. Perhaps because uh, it's rarely done well. Confrontation is nothing more than uh, bringing the truth of the situation out of the shadows and into the light to discuss openly. This can be done uh, tactfully by uh, avoiding uh, accusations and choosing to ask uh, the responsible person some honest questions instead. And like, uh, number three is separation. Sometimes, like, a decisive people, like, uh, and false pe features, um, we retreat for a time and then, then come back to their, uh, destructive behavior later. And there are those who, uh, openly defy authority. And on some occasions, it's best to separate, uh, and like, uh, that may be removing yourself from, uh, their life or a church, removing them from fellowship. And this was like an article from, um, Pastor Chris Williams. Of course, like, uh, to learn more, like, uh, about Pastor Chris and his teaching, you can know, visit, like, uh, on the web there with, uh, it's like uh, fcfamily.org, uh, like, uh, and look at the blog. But it's like, uh, with this, like, a uh, video, sir. My name is William Trosky. I offer credit restoration services for consumers. So if you have a uh, less than perfect credit there and looking to improve your credit, or just looking yourself uh, to improve uh, ways to earn money from home with uh, through uh, entrepreneurship or uh, selling products online, or doing uh, various uh, promotions through uh, social media. There. So send me uh, like a message or email on uh, like, uh, my uh, website, dumbexperts.com. So I'm just, like, uh, reminding you, just remember like uh, to share this video far and wide. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video far and wide, and don't forget to shake the money tree.